Well, hello everyone. This is exciting. We are going to do tips and tricks um, on our first time camping, so lessons learned. There is a lot of information out there on YouTube, which you already know in terms of you know, recommendations on how to camp with your dog. But just weeks ago, I found myself on YouTube Googling tips and tricks because not only was our dog's first time camping, it was my first time camping and our family's first time camping. So um, what got me onto YouTube is trying to figure out if all these dogs that I was seeing on trails or you know the people I know who take their dogs regularly, if their dogs were just perfectly trained <laughs> or if there were ways to make sure that our dogs were successful campers, even though they're hyper and curious. So turns out they can absolutely be successful campers, even if your dogs are a little bit rambunctious or if they are barkers, there's a lot of things you could do to make that work. So here's what we learned camping. First of all, I packed a separate dog bag and made a list of what they needed daily at home and on walks to make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, going from left to right, you'll see our, our walking leash here. I had a bag of treats, Ty's collar because I had him in a harness and didn't, he likes to chase squirrels and stuff. I didn't want the, all that pulling on his neck but I wanted to bring this collar just in case. Uh, hand sanitizer, poop bags, collapsible water bowl for when we hiked. And in the red zippers, I had their vaccine paperwork, a small toy, my cell phone. And then I got a tug toy there because uh, K-Dog Kendrick is very tug driven and I wanted to have distractions. I also had some bones in there, just lots of different types of distractions for when we were walking or if they got excited and too rambunctious. Hot tip, if your dogs do get excited just by the sight of the leash, wear it around the house, but don't take them for a walk. I did this for seven days, alternating. Every second day, I would actually like take them out using the lead. Otherwise, I was wearing it around the house so that they got desensitized. They were significantly calmer by the time we went to camping. It wasn't like I pulled out the lead, they got ramped up, and they were in the car and all ramped up. Um, I pulled out the leash, put it on. We were able to pack the car. They were kind of like, I don't know, she's wearing that thing again. I don't know if we're going to go anywhere. <laughs> so they were much calmer getting into the car, which set us up successfully um, for our initial camping experience. Packing the car was like playing Tetris. <laughs> we could barely see our son, let alone the dogs in the back. Uh, if your dogs are barkers in the car, I'm just going to recommend that you just stay calm and cool and let them burn some of that en energy. I do find putting a halty on Kendrick, it's like if you muzzle a dog, usually they will um, kind of calm down. I do find if I put Kendrick's halty on just because it's over his nose, uh, he is less vocal and he was very quiet in the car. I think he was kind of surprised that he was, that was an option. That we were not just not going for a walk, we were going in the car. <laughs> uh, when we arrived, I let the dogs sniff, let them sniff, mark their territory, explore. My uh, husband emptied the car, uh, my son helped him, we gave him some jobs to do. And then I came and I tethered the dogs in two different spots and two different on tr two different trees. And you will note that um, the leads are really long for the dogs, so you don't want them to get crossed or tangled. You just want to make sure that the leash links make sense and see what's around the, the trees that you're tethering them to so that um, they're not getting tied to other things. Kendrick had a little more leash line than um, Ty did. That worked really well for us. Also, we realized when we did our, our first fire that his leash was actually too long because he could kind of walk around the fire, so have the leash against the fire. Because of his height, the leash actually went like kind of over the fire. Um, and I'm sure if he had gotten panicked or scared, it could have been a, a bad situation. So we just we quickly adjusted that. But it wasn't something that I had considered. I was more worried about him getting tangled around other trees and getting caught up with Ty. I didn't actually consider um, that he was just able to get too close to the fire pit. So we made that adjustment. We left their bowls out by the trees um, and I found that that was very helpful for them. They always had access to water and we just made sure we picked up the food bowls and put them in the car. The one thing I did not put in the car the first day was the treat bag. So I woke up, asked my husband what the leash was. He had no idea. We did a little scavenger hunt um, <laughs> and found the leash a couple trees down with the treat bag empty but everything else still there. So a squirrel or a raccoon had a midnight snack on us, <laughs> but they clearly came into our screen tent and took that um, a couple trees down too. So definitely want to put your food in the car um, if you don't have like a secure, um, another way of securing your food. <laughs> Overall, dogs were really quiet. And I think 
it was it was good because like they'd do a little bark or something and get excited and we would you know tell them to calm down quietly um and, and distract them and then they would be fine and that was common with all the dogs that were camping they would you know they kind of vocalize to each other like hey i see you kind of thing <laughs> you're walking past my campsite um but then they, they would calm right down i would say people were more annoying than their dogs so the people that had like the real barkers that they would like yell at their dog or they were really loud like whistling and like trying to get the dog's attention and like it was more obnoxious than the barking itself, so that's probably a great consideration. I know people don't appreciate barking dogs, and, and some individuals were trying to keep a handle on that, but a um, few dogs barked a lot, and it wasn't necessarily like ongoing in all cases, so just something something to, to keep in mind. Overall, a lot of fun for your dogs. They, I found that they relaxed, and they were just in the groove, happy to be with us, they were outside, plenty of things to sniff um, and, and they would look at us when something new happened. So they were looking at us to reassure them and so as long as you're cool, calm and collected, it can be a wonderful experience. Don't hesitate to bring your dog if you've got the right distractions and you're, you're willing to just put in a little bit of the, the prep work, the, the pre-camping time to set them up successfully. I hope this is helpful and uh, that's it. Enjoy your camping.